Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be making your final for this class. So your final is going to be a portfolio of all of the projects you've done for this class. The portfolio is going to be made on Google Sites. So the way you get to Google Sites is you can either go to just sites.google.com or when you're in Chrome and you go to the top right and you click to look at all the Google Apps, Google Sites is listed in that list of Google Apps. So once you get to Google Sites, it's going to look like this. To create a new site, you're either going to click this plus sign at the top or sometimes down in the bottom right corner, there's a plus sign right here and that's going to be to create a new site. So I'm going to create a new blank site. All right, so this right here, this per first page that we're on is going to be your home page. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to title our site. Your site is going to be titled with your first name, your last name, then apostrophe S, then art portfolio. Don't actually write first name, last name, write your actual name. So we're going to put that for the title of the site and we're going to put that for the header up here. Your first name, your last name, and then art portfolio. This is the header up here and then this is the rest of the website down here. All right, so <clears throat> your website is going to have multiple different pages. This first page that we're on right now is just going to be your home page. There's not going to be any pictures of your artwork on your home page. The only thing that's going to be on your home page is a little intro about you. So the way you're going to do that is on the right hand side, you're going to go to insert, then you're going to go to text box and it creates a box for you to type in. So in this text box on your home page, you are going to write a paragraph about yourself. So four to five sentences just about yourself. Who are you? your family, your hobbies, you know, all that. So that's all that's going to be on this main homepage is the title of the site and an intro paragraph about you. So the actual artwork is going to go on a separate page. How do you make a separate page? You're going to go over here to pages. Then you're going to click the plus sign to create a new page. So some of you are enrolled in both semesters. Some of you are only enrolled in one semester. So for those of you enrolled in both semesters, you need to make a separate page for each, each semester. So how it's going to work is, say if you're enrolled in both semesters, I'm going to create a new page, and that page I'm going to call it semester one. And done. Now I have my home page, and again, that's going to have the paragraph about yourself. And then I'll have separate page called semester one and this is going to have all of my artwork from semester one. Oh, and by the way i didn't mention this before but you can like you can change the type of header you can also change the image if you want to have it look a little bit nicer totally up to you or you can upload your own images so got my home page then i've got my page for semester one so if you're in both semesters, again, you need to make a separate page for each semester. So once I would have my semester one page, I'm going to create another new page by clicking the plus sign and call this one semester two. Now I have three pages. I have my home page with my paragraph about myself. I have semester one, that's going to have all my projects from semester one, and then semester two, which is going to have my projects from semester two. So um, obviously, if you are not enrolled in both semesters, you only need to make the page for whatever semester you're enrolled in. All right, so now down here is where you're actually going to be putting the images of your artwork. So if I go back to insert and I can pick these different layouts like this one, like this layout allows you to add photos and you can add photos from your drive or upload photos and then it also allows you to add text so you're going to need to be able to add text because for everything you upload you're going to have to write a small paragraph about it so to show you what it's going to look like at the end i'm going to show you a student's portfolio from last year obviously 
their projects are going to be a little bit different than yours because these were done in the classroom. But here's her home page. She added her own picture. She has a little um, paragraph about herself. So now her semester one portfolio, she has the picture of the project and then she has a paragraph talking about it. So for the paragraph, I want you to, first of all, just describe briefly what the project is. So for this one, it was an optical illusion. So she said, we were doing an illusion drawing in second period. You had to make curly lines or straight lines. It depends on how you want it. Once you finish drawing your lines, make a curved line on the inside, but make sure you, anyway, she goes on and explains how she did it. Basically, I want you to first describe the project I want you to, if you use, I want you to list what materials you used. So like she talks about for this one, we used rulers to make the lines straight. We used black markers. So whatever materials you use, whether it be scissors, glue, markers, colored pencils, I want you to list all the materials you use to make it. All right. And then one thing that she didn't actually do I just noticed now. But another thing I want you to write in each of your um, paragraphs is, so first I want you to just describe what the project is. Then I want you to talk about what materials you used. Then I want you to say one thing you did well and then one thing you could improve. So that's the format I want you to use for each of the paragraphs that you write. So you're going to upload a picture of each of the projects and right underneath that picture of the project you're going to have the paragraph and then finally at the very end after you've added all the pictures oh <laughs> that was my fiance you're going to at the very bottom just do a summary of all of the projects from that semester just like what was your favorite what was your least favorite what was your experience so that's all of hers for semester one. And she has a separate page for semester two where she has all of her stuff from semester two. Again, she has the photos. She has the paragraph about the photo. And then at the very bottom, she has a summary of the semester. All right. Okay, so yeah, that's what you're doing. You're going to make the Google site. You're going to make the home page where you're going to have a paragraph about yourself, semester one with your semester one projects, semester two with your semester two projects. And you can also embed things like, I know for one of the assignments, you made a video. You can also embed videos like you can embed a video if it's on your drive or you can embed straight from youtube things like that all right and that's it